Frank's in Manchester. Hello, Frank. Hello, oh, Dave. Oh, how are you? How are you doing? All right. I'm OK. How are you good to help? Yeah, pretty good at this end. OK. Good work. You got a question for Ambrose? Oh, actually. Uh, I remember once, uh, I used to go to the older, I think it's called it, Sat Matt. Oh, yeah. Saturday, Saturday uh, matinee. matinee. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, and I seen a film once called uh, The Christmas That Nearly Wasn't. Yeah. Now, does Ambrose know that one? 60s film. I think it was made in the 60s, although you might have seen it in the 70s, maybe, at the cinema. I think so, yeah. And I remember the name. Was there a Phineas T. Prune? Fit, uh, the character in the film, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Phineas T. Prune. Yeah, this that's is... a cracky name, that. Mm-hmm. Isn't that? That's exactly. Bad name. I haven't named it. The, um, this is a sort of film... It, this is a bit like the thing we talked about last week. Oh, what was it? The, the Sheriff? <sighs> like the alien and the sheriff or the electric... Oh, I don't oh, remember yeah. what the damn thing is. But kind of a kiddies film yep. that was filmed in one language and then dubbed into another. Because, uh, interestingly enough, the director of this film, which, for people who don't know the story, it's about Santa Claus gets evicted from the North Pole, doesn't he? That's yep. right. By a dude who buys up the North Pole. Rosano Brazzi, who... Um, it actually directs it. I can't remember if he's in it or not, but uh, this is the guy who, if you remember the Italian job, he's the guy on the... F- he gets killed in the opening scene of the Italian job, oh, and he's the guy who tells Michael Caine on, via the newsreel uh, how to do the, the, the bank job, etc. He was also a priest in The Omen 3, The Final Conflict. Anyway, he directed this film, so, uh, you know, a, a multi-talented guy. So and you c- is, it, is it available on the, on the DVD? It is. But, unfortunately, it's kind of one of those that got released a few years ago and you can only get on um, on eBay. But it's quite reasonable, you know, seven, eight quid. So it is available if you have a look around on the white website. Can I just ask you another question? Go for it. Uh, you know all this uh, CGI kind of stuff? Oh, yeah. Like, I've been watching uh, a couple of films over, over the past few years, like... When, when it first came out, uh, you know, where uh, Jason Thagenhart... Yeah, the Ray Harryhausen stuff. Yeah, with them skeletons. Yeah, Now, brilliant. imagine when kids uh, watch this it, it, in our day and age, because you've, you've got, like, Superman, Spider-Man... True. ...type of film. What do they actually think? Do they think, <laughs> oh, it's, it's dated, or it's, you know, what, what do they actually think? I, I, you know, I, I can't speak for, for people younger than myself, but I imagine they accept it as, as, as normal. What, uh, what, 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 it, well, you know, they kind of see special effects. I mean, they, they didn't live through the Ray Harry's housing period, so they, they haven't seen them improve so much. Uh, but, but, but I don't know. That it's an interesting point you, you bring up, because in 20 years' time, 30 yeah. years' time, what will today's kids who have been exactly. growing up on Spider-Man and the right yeah. what they think? Yeah. Well, well I have a bit of so that. much in, 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 the, in, in the past 10 years, or 15. So CGI, is yeah. gonna, is, is, like they said, is it going to take over actors? I don't think it will. The, the main thing there is... Well, to a degree, it does. Yeah, mm. Stunts and things like that. It's not spied on the character that's jumping from a building. It's, it's CGI. There was, there, was, there was a film that I released five years ago called Final Fantasy The Spirits Within where they tried to exactly do this, animate almost like real life. The hair, the skin, oh, it looked amazing. But it comes to a point where the, the, camera, the camera does lie, in a sense, that... You, the th- sort of three dimensions of the skin and the face. They can, even if they get it a lot better than they have now, which is pretty good, there's all sorts of things that we just take for granted that you do notice right. in yeah. terms of light. Maybe computers will get so good in the future that They'll maybe... They'll be able to read all of them. Re- yeah, yes, that's true. Because um, after all, film no, itself... Do you still think we'll have a, we'll have a director and an editor? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, if you, if you, th- if you think about it, I think that... Um, I don't know. I mean, obviously, people think, oh, well, CGI might replace actors and it'll be cheaper. Wouldn't, wouldn't Hollywood love that? But actually, no, because Hollywood as a community is part of people who still want work. Well, so I mean, lots of actors and directors... Money business, isn't it? So they've got to uh, employ and also make some money from it. It is, but at the same time, it's not just going to be a case of, you know, solar studios hiring a bunch of computer programmers because that just won't happen because there's too many vested interests to allow that to happen, yeah. I, would, I would say. Well, it's great to speak to you, Ambrose. No worries. You're what? Really, uh, Entertaining uh, Fantastic. Great. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you very much, Frank. <laughs> Good man. Cheers, Frank. Okay, cheers. You take care. And I never ever thought I'd hear anybody uh, use the phrase Jason and Thargonauts. Just a quick one. Not by bad. The way. That's brilliant. brilliant.